Yo. How y'all doing? Just a quick, um, I came out here to start this about a week ago, last weekend. And I don't think I had a camera on me, which is a little bit weird. I'll have to check, maybe I did record. But essentially, um, I had the hood down, but not completely latched. It was just on the safety latch. And I just thought I would get in and uh, start the bastard. It started immediately. It was awesome. It hasn't been that long since it's been running. I mean, I moved it over here two weeks ago, I guess, so really nothing. But it started immediately. Hadn't even done the primer bulb and any of that shit. Just up it goes. I thought that was sweet. The one thing I did have problems with initially, prior to it starting immediately, was the gray switch here that we put in, this little panel, as the start button. Because this never was a uh, key turn ignition. It's got a starter over here. I'm not sure how bad things must be in behind there to not have reused the real starter. And, and long-term viewers will have heard a story about why I have this. You may not be able to see down this far, but I have a, a little tiny, like a um, motorcycle battery or one that you'd have in a ride and lawnmower kind of thing. 12 volt. This whole car is 6 volt. Um, not only is it 6 volt, but uh, positive ground, which... Uh, Seems simple because you just reverse everything in your mind, but it's fucked up because you have to reverse everything in your mind. Um, it's fiendishly uh, bizarre. And it really shouldn't be, but trust me. Um, I was having problems getting that button to activate the... Well, first of all, it activates the ignition uh, solenoid, and then it sends power to the starter. That just wasn't registering. Um, so I, I yanked it, or I hit it a bunch of times, I suspect there's corrosion, and uh, and it started, but it was making a rattling noise, and I thought perhaps it was the hood that, like I say, was not locked down entirely. It was just uh, you know kind of resting on the uh, on the emergency hook, and it was that kind of noise. Like, uh, but I was pretty sure I'd start I'd started this car before with the uh, you know not fully latched, and uh, don't recall that ever. But then something really weird happened. I wanted to go investigate that, so I decided I was going to turn the car off. And I turned the key and took it out. And as I was as I was taking it out, the car immediately restarted the start sequence. But this time the um, the starter didn't disengage. So while while it was running, you know, it's like it's yeah, it's just grinding the starter against the thing, which is not something I want. But the hood is mostly down, so I had to get the fuck out of here in a hurry, get the hood up, and remove the uh, uh, the positive terminal of the battery, because you have to, you know, kind of think different. So anyway, that was kind of freaky. I haven't looked into this yet. Um, I will, and I intend to. Um, but I know it's going to be associated with the fact that we've got this 12-volt battery that operates only the uh, ignition solenoid. It doesn't, this doesn't send power to the starter. We only use it to make that switch start the ignition process. And the big long story behind that was uh, three in a row, six volt uh, ignition solenoids that I bought from two different locations, two from one, one from another. Uh, they would not be held down by six volts. We had to, uh, in using a variable power supply or whatever, we had to go to eight volts until it would uh, properly um, hold itself down. Uh, prior to, uh, like just with the six volt thing, it uh, it would not. It was all interrupted. It was like that, 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 and so it was just not. Um, it was cycling, which is fucked. And uh, this whole scenario here, we devised just in order to get this car to start enough to get it on the trailer to ship it out to British Columbia. So it's a story that goes back to the very early um, days of getting this car here. And this has always been jank. I mean, it's uh, it it it's genius. Um, uh, Wayne and Archie essentially were the uh, architects behind that whole thing, and uh, obviously it's uh, it's functional. But I have a feeling that whatever hackery we did getting this going um, uh, behind that little metal panel with the start switch, and uh, it also has the switch for the, um, it won't work right now because this battery's off, but uh, the automatic trunk opener. That had all the, <laughs> uh, all the handle shaved off this thing, except for the doors. So anyway, um, yeah, that'll be something. I mean, really what I'll do is drop this whole thing, have a look in behind. Right now, it's it's kind of shit. But 
it's simple enough that I'm pretty sure I can, uh, I don't know what the red and the green do. Uh, one of them probably ignition green, I think. I think the bulbs burned out anyway, so. Yeah. Um, I do have a new, well, the fourth ignition solenoid that I bought out west here. And, uh, I don't know whether these all come from the same factory or whatever. They're stamped right on. Like, it's not a sticker. Like, it's, uh. It's physically hammered into it. It says 6 volt. And um, I believe in the studio a couple of years ago, I did take that solenoid that I have and hook it up to a 6 volt battery. And uh, if I recall, it did um, activate and stay down. So I'm hoping that replacing this one will uh, at least take care of the need for this 12 volt. Now, that having been said, once I remove this 12 volt from the circuit, um, I'm going to have to put back whatever the fuck we um, hot wired in order to get this going. So when I if, when I do prove that the six volt solenoid does work correctly, some of this will have to get dismantled and put back to however it was. The more years that go on, obviously, the fewer uh, details I remember. So this is still going to be kind of a bit of a new job, even though I I, I remember the uh, the origins. The specifics are a little vague. Anyway. Uh, I guess that's just a little update on what's uh, happening with the 51 Merc. And um, I'm confident this won't be a big thing. But if I were to try, and I was trying to develop the balls to um, maybe take her for a quick spin over to the NW um, next week. Uh, or over to the high school where the bigger one is. Um, and that was kind of why I was starting it. Make sure you know that it'll do okay on the uh, whatever that is, four mile trip. Um, but with this, I don't want this situation to be unknown because I just don't want to get stranded there and have it do nothing or, you know, have it freak out, have to get it towed home. And also to be perfectly honest, you, it's highly embarrassing to uh, go to a car meet and just have shit fucking just crash and burn on you. I mean, everybody will understand and they will, uh, they'll, they'll know what that feels like, but, uh. Yeah, it's not kind of it's it doesn't set a, it doesn't set a good example of whatever that's called you know it's kind of silly but it happens and uh, but I just I would rather that happen here figure out what it is decide whether I'm even gonna try and um, do that so I will say um, thanks for watching have a good time stay dirty um, stay safe and uh, I will talk to you next time thanks.